Well, hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Where is my eye? There it is. Uh, I actually bought something to me, to myself today, and I'm gonna show you what it is. Uh, I have been waiting a long time for this one. Uh, actual this kind and this brand. So I'm gonna show you and you will understand if you have watched my videos, you will see. There we have it. Cordless Saber Saw. It's the brand of the Parkside, the same I have uh, my screwdriver. So there are no batteries when you buy this, but I do have two batteries. So uh, it's gonna be really awesome. And now I can start working on my um, generators and motors and so on and start cutting on real uh, because this is battery, so I can take it easy away with me if I need to go some scrapping or something. I'm gonna open up and we're gonna see it inside. So, I know by fact I'm gonna need this one. So, first, slide the sleeves off. And on the back side, you have just information about it, what kind of axle it is and how you to use it or not use it. But I can tell you the pictures are already wrong. Because if you're using this kind of machine, you have to make sure you have the um, uh, the bottom one against the material. Otherwise, you can slip. You know. Uh, same deal when, when it comes to the wood. So already there, the picture is wrong. By safe the causes, uh, and I know it's a. Be a little bit over, don't get sick. All right, so ba -ba -ba. that's easy, that's only the what I need. We have one blade here, you have the um, whip. What you're doing is you're turning this aside, slide that in and release and it's stuck. What I meant to be to tell is if you're cutting something you have to put your this this part against the material not not, not using this because otherwise you're gonna do it. so you have better control if you put it like that. And you can change this to a kind of diagonal it depends what kind of you using. It was just this is just a cover, you know. Quite easy, quite uh, simple to use. You have a safety. Uh, otherwise, if you're using a pointing finger or your thumb, this is just to start this part. You cannot. It's kind of child safety, you see. But if I squeeze this one, and now it's now we're talking. All right. So, also we have a safety lock right there. So, I think that maybe it is the, um, yeah, it's on, uh, on and off. It's kind of a zero and kind of number one. So, now I probably is off. I'm gonna bring the battery and we're gonna try this one. I mean, just to see. So, all right, put the battery in, you can check it, oh, there you go, the battery is full, and uh, close this one, I don't know actually what it is, but uh, right now this one is for, uh, for wood. I have more blades uh, in, in my drawings to to cut some. Um... Oh, what's this? I 
think it's just nothing. But this one has something to do with it. I had to read the manual about this part. But now actually I can, you know, start working on my models for real. Not doing the uh, nibbling in the so on. Just cut it, pull everything out, and throw it. It's gonna take the time a lot faster. Especially when we come to uh, those transformers. If I'm not, can break it like this one. I can just go with a hammer and everything will not fall off, right? But uh, then we have this big one. It's easiest just to cut it, bomb bomb, pull it out. I do have some few. I can, if I don't want to cut this easy, or cut this one. I got dirty. So, yeah, it's gonna go a lot faster. Anyway, I'm probably gonna use that jack saw for those. I have an idea about these parts to make it's gonna be quite easier to process them. And I've been thinking a long time about it, and I think I have an idea what's the easiest way. And I think I know what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna test it. And that is, I'm gonna put this in my Miami Wise. That's gonna be my new name for the device. Uh, and just cut it, cut the core somewhere under there. Uh, or if I get on the back side, just cut it in the core straight off uh, against the edge, straight off. And then just pull everything out. Because this is really heavy, heavy steel. And especially when we come to this size. This is this is really big. Really big. So this one is easiest just just go with machine, cut it on the both ends and make it easier to work with. I kinda cut it right over there and right behind the the, the wheel. Then I can start process it easier and don't have to do so much different work. So yeah, that's the new little toy I bought today. I saw it yesterday and I thought no, tomorrow I'm going and buy it. So now I done it. <laughs> See you on the next video. So that was the, uh, today's video, uh, thank you for watching and hope you like it, like, share and subscribe and I'm gonna see you in the next video, happy weekend!